Latvia is a country in northeastern Europe and the middle of the three Baltic states. Latvia, which was occupied and annexed by the USSR in June 1940, declared its independence on August 21, 1991. The USSR recognized its sovereignty on September 6, and United Nations membership followed shortly thereafter. Latvia was admitted to the North Atlantic Treaty Organization (NATO) and the European Union (EU) in 2004. The capital and chief city is Riga. Land Latvia lies along the shores of the Baltic Sea and the Gulf of Riga, and it is bounded by Estonia to the north, Russia to the east, Belarus to the southeast, and Lithuania to the south. Relief, Drainage, and Soils Latvia is essentially an undulating plain, with fairly flat lowlands alternating with hills. The eastern part of the country is more elevated, its most prominent feature being the central Vidzi Mudland, which reaches a maximum elevation of 1,020 feet 311 meters. In the southeast, the highest point is Liele Lipokons, 947 feet 289 meters, which is part of the Razna National Park territory. The Kurzim, Kurland, upland in the west is divided by the Venta River into the western and eastern parts. Between the central Vidzim and Latgale uplands in the southeast lies the East Latvian lowland, partly crossed by moraine ridges that impede drainage. There are numerous peat bogs in this area. Latvia contains a multitude of rivers that drain into the Baltic Sea. The largest are the Western Dvina, locally called the Dagava, with a total length of 222 miles, 357 kilometers, in Latvia, the Gauja, Russian, Gauja, the Venta, and the Lilupe. Amid the hills, many of which are forested, are numerous lakes, some measuring up to about 12 square miles, 30 square kilometers. Latvia's soils are predominantly podzolic, though calcareous soils characterize the Semigalia, Zemgale, plain, located just east of the eastern Kurzim uplands. Swampy soils are found in some areas, particularly the East Latvian lowland. Erosion is a problem in the more intensely cultivated hilly areas. Climate The climate is influenced by the prevailing southwesterly winds coming from the Atlantic. Humidity is high, and the skies are usually cloudy, there are only about 30 to 40 days of sunshine per year. Average precipitation usually exceeds 20 inches, about 500 millimeters, on the lowlands and may approach or exceed 30 inches, about 760 millimeters, on the uplands. The frost-free season lasts about 125 to 155 days. Summers are often cool and rainy. The mean temperature in June is in the mid-60s F, about 17 degrees Celsius, with occasional jumps into the mid-90s F, about 34 degrees Celsius. Winter sets in slowly and lasts from the middle of December to the middle of March. The mean January temperature ranges from the upper 20s F, nearly minus 2 degrees Celsius, on the coast to the lower 20s F, about minus 7 degrees Celsius, in the east. There are occasional extreme temperature drops into the minus 40 SF, about minus 40 degrees Celsius. Plant and Animal Life More than half of Latvia is covered with forests, meadows, pastures, swamps, and wastelands. Forests account for more than one-third of the total area, and about one-tenth of the forests are cultivated. The larger forest tracts are in the northern part of the Kurzim Peninsula, along the banks of the western Vina, and in the northeast, where conifers, pine and spruce, predominate. Of the deciduous species, birch, aspen, and alder are the most prevalent. Meadows are found both in the river valleys and among the hills. Latvia's fauna consists of squirrels, foxes, hares, lynxes, and badgers. Somewhat less common are ermines and weasels. Conservation measures have resulted in an increase in the number of deer and elk, and beavers have been reintroduced to Latvia. 
The country's bird population includes the nightingale, oriole, blackbird, woodpecker, owl, grouse, partridge, finch, tomtit, quail, and lark. Storks and herons are usually found in the marshes and meadows. Economy of Latvia Industrialization in Latvia began in the latter part of the 19th century, and by the late 20th century the country was the most heavily industrialized of the Baltic states. Substantial economic changes occurred following Latvia's independence in 1991, as the country transitioned to a market economy. Starting in the mid-1990s, the economy diversified, and by the early 21st century most industries in Latvia had been privatized. Agriculture and Fishing About one-third of agricultural land in Latvia is used for crop cultivation, and about one-tenth is dedicated to pasture for livestock. Of the crops, grain, mainly rye, is the most important. Wheat, oats, flax, and barley are also significant. Potatoes, onions, carrots, and sugar beets are the main crops produced for export. Collectivization of the agriculture was accomplished, against resistance, in 1947-50. Up to the time of independence, in 1991, there were collective farms, engaged mainly in the cultivation of grain crops and mixed farming, and state farms, usually specializing in the cultivation and processing of a particular crop. Decollectivization became a goal of the newly independent government. During the Soviet period, Latvia was a net importer of agricultural products, albeit on a small scale. After independence it was hoped that the privatization of agriculture would lead to higher levels of production and a favorable balance of trade in agricultural commodities, but, as a result of the economic hardships of adjusting to a market economy and the high cost of equipment required, agriculture contributed only a small percentage of the gross domestic product. GDP in the early 1990s. By the early 21st century, agriculture had been completely privatized. Latvia's fishing industry accounts for only a tiny percentage of the GDP, and fish products for export have decreased in importance. In general, sport fishing has contributed more to Latvia's annual catch from inland waters than commercial fishing. Much of the catch from the Baltic is consumed domestically as a source of protein, most notably codfish and herring sprats. The most common species of fish found in inland waters are pike, bream, carp, perch, eel, and lamprey. Some salmon and trout are bred artificially in nurseries and then released into rivers. Crayfish and carp have been raised successfully in ponds. Resources and Power the principal mineral resources found in Latvia are sand, dolomite, limestone, gypsum, clay, and peat. Oil has been discovered in the Kurzine Peninsula, and exploration of reserves has been undertaken. Latvia has hydropower plants on the western Vina River. Nonetheless, the country is highly dependent on imported sources of energy. Electric energy is supplied primarily by Estonia and Lithuania and petroleum products are supplied by Russia and Lithuania. Beginning in the early 21st century, Latvia has attempted to diversify its domestic energy sources to reduce its dependence on foreign supply. Manufacturing The production of furniture, foodstuffs, beverages, and textiles had replaced machine building and metal engineering as Latvia's leading manufacturing activities by the late 1990s. The manufacture of chemicals and pharmaceuticals became important in the 21st century. Finance Under Soviet rule, Latvia used the Russian ruble as its monetary unit, but by 1993 the country had adopted its own currency, the LATS. On January 1, 2014, Latvia adopted the euro as its official currency. The Central Bank of the Republic of Latvia is the center of the banking system. There is a stock exchange in Riga. In the middle of the first decade of the 2000s, foreign direct investment, which came mainly from other EU countries, accounted for about one-third of GDP. Thank you for watching.